Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul, and we're back with another making a beat video. Today, we'll be remaking from scratch Drake's song Controla, so let's get straight to it. First things first, let's go ahead and set our tempo at 93 BPMs and give ourselves a nice loop here to work with. The first thing that we're going to make is that sort of electric piano sound that is heard throughout the entire track. And uh, I'm just going to bring in a piano for now just so we could draw out our notes and then change up the sound. Let's go ahead and draw in a MIDI region and let's get to drawing out our chords. Now the chords pretty much repeat itself through the entire track and uh, I'm going to input the notes right now. Keep in mind, I did figure out these chords beforehand, so it's not like I'm figuring them out from scratch right now. But um, let's see if I even remember them. Let's do this. I think that's it. Yeah, all right, let's move on to the next chords here. Sorry guys, I'm f I don't remember this chord here. Let me figure it out right now quickly. Right, and then one more chord over here. Think that's it. All right, we got it guys. Sorry, that took a little longer than expected. I did forget this end section here, but we worked it out. All right, so let's go ahead and make this sound more of electric piano sort of vibe like you hear in the track. I'm gonna go to, um, let's go to Vintage Electric Piano Experimental. And there was a setting here that sounded similar to the one found in the track. And I think it was electric harmonics. But 
but let's just go ahead and edit that so it sounds a lot more like in the track. Let's go ahead and just push this up to a sine wave. Something like that sounds good. Maybe we'll add in a little distortion. All right, next let's just go ahead and adjust our ADSR just to get it more sounding like the one in the track. All right, something like that sounds pretty good. Let's just see if we up this a bit. All right, let's go ahead and just leave it at that for the tutorial's sake. Next thing that we're gonna do is just bring in a quick delay here. I'm not gonna use a stereo delay that's here. I'm gonna mute that. I'm gonna quickly bring in Logic's um, Echo and we're going to add in a nice quick delay here. And on this channel EQ, I'm just going to make this a little bit brighter and I'm going to use a just a preset here, let's see. All right, let's just go with that sound over there. All right, so let's go ahead and bring in some drums. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. And we will be bringing in Logic's Drum Machine Designer. Let's just duplicate this. Two span across four bars. Maybe I'll actually just add in a quick reverb here as well. Uh, sorry guys, let's go reverb, space designer. All right, something like that is good. Something quick and dirty. So let's start off with the hi-hats. Let's just take this hi-hat for now. And uh, let's just create that drum pattern here. Let's close this. Let me find that hi-hat. G sharp one. All right, so here we go. All right. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's just keep the two bars going here. Next, let's go ahead and add in that crash. Let's use that one for now, C sharp two. Uh, Go ahead and quantize that. Now let's go ahead and make those sounds a lot better and sound more like in the track. Let's start off with the hi-hat. Going to find a different hi-hat here. Maybe that one sounds good. Okay, that sounds okay. Let's fix this crash. It's really annoying this one, so let's get this sounding better. All right, that's sounding better. Next, let's go ahead and add in that clap. So let's just go ahead and just use that one for now. Let's just go ahead and make this clap better sounding as well. Maybe we'll choose a different one. All right, that sounds good right there. Next, let's go ahead and add in our kick. Let's go ahead and just loop this over two bars here, or sorry, over four bars. Let's go ahead and add in those 808s that happens at the end of the bars. I'm going to bring in my preset that I always use in pretty much a lot of my tracks, and that is that 808 preset that we've created a couple tutorials back. Uh, actually, it was a little while ago, but it is the 808 tutorial. And let me just draw in my MIDI here, and um, we're going to get something happening right now. Let's put in the 808 here. Let's just get this 808 sounding a little bit more better and uh, not so uh, sustained.
All right, and there is our 808s over there. Let's just go ahead and just copy this over here. So the beginning of the track, let's just arrange this quickly. Uh, it starts off with just the chords. And then comes the drums. Well, the drums don't come in just yet, really. Um, the kick is off, so let's just go ahead and mute the kick. I think that goes for four bars. And then at the end of this, in comes the 808, and then in comes the kick over here. For another uh, four bars, let's just put the 808 here and here. All right, next let's go ahead and bring in those percussion hits that you hear throughout the entire track. It starts about uh, this point over here. I'm gonna create a new software instrument track. And again, this track is pretty much all about the drums. I'm gonna bring in Logic's Drum Machine Designer. And um, let's just start off with that sound for now. I'm gonna close this. And let's just draw it in here. I think it was C2. Now these hits are very quick. So let's just go ahead and try and get this in here. Put another one in there. And this essentially duplicates itself here. Let's just go ahead and quantize this to a 64th grid here, uh, 164. Let's go ahead and bring in a better sound here. Let's go ahead and make this uh, cowbell a lot better as well. Let's go ahead and take off some of the highs as well because the sound should be a little bit more muffled. I'm going to bring in an EQ here. So let's go ahead and make this sound a little bit more muffled. So 
So something like that is good for the percussion. Uh, so let's just go ahead and copy this over here. And we get something like this. All right, next, let's just go ahead and copy this over here and let's work on the chorus. So let's just say that this part is all the verse and then we go into the chorus. So the drums get dropped out here, or at least the kick part. Just copy that over here. These 808s get removed. And let's just copy this for the next part of the chorus. But we're gonna create a new softer instrument track and we're gonna bring in Logic's ES2 once again. And we will be working with that 808 preset once again as well. Uh, let's just close that. And I'm gonna draw in a MIDI region here and let's draw in the bass pattern for the chorus. All right, here we go. Let's see if I remember this pattern now myself. Let's go ahead to the next section. Pretty sure. Um... All right, so next section go something like this. Let's just loop this second part here.
finally there is the baseline right there let's go and make that sound a little bit better now the reason why i draw it into logic rather than just playing it out on my keyboard is so you can see the progression happening as we place in the steps um, this way you just see how something is composed rather than me just playing it and you don't see what's happening that sounds good just like that then for the second part of the chorus our kick comes back into play but it kind of comes back into play with a little bit different of a pattern so it goes something like this let's just take this out here All right, so let's just go ahead quickly over here and just add in that snare that happens at the end here. Let's just change that snare to a better one. And then that will round out this uh, remake over here. So here is the snare. Let's just find a better snare. I think that sounds good just like that. Copy this over. Just gonna make this hat a little bit higher. So I'm also just gonna change one last thing here. I don't feel this kick anymore. Like it doesn't sound too punchy for me. It'd be like a cake kick, uh, a Drake kick. So let's go ahead and change that. All right, so that kick sounds better there. And also one last spot here in the verses. I'm also gonna put. In these verses right here, I'm gonna add a couple extra kicks here to kind of mimic what was in the song. I just put this video on pause, listen to the track just to double check my work. And I forgot a couple kicks here. So uh, here we are, we're just gonna put a couple kicks here and here. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is just play the track from bar number one so we take a listen what we've put together this past 30-35 minutes. I know it's a long one, but uh, we finished it guys. Here is the track, Drake's Controller, remade in Logic.
So that is Drake controller remade in Logic using nothing but stock sounds and stock plugins that Logic has to offer. For you Logic users out there, I am going to go ahead and save this entire session for you guys. You can find that link in the description box below. And for you non-Logic users out there, I am going to go ahead and save out and export all these MIDI tracks so you can have the MIDI stems to this track that you can import into your DAW and use the sounds that you have to remake controller by Drake. If you do have any questions on this, you can ask me in the comment section below. For more good videos like this, remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in the next one. Talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.